Hi there, this is Chinky Tan, also known as Mr. Ching Positive. Welcome to the Master Prospector Seminar. Alam mo, I'm pretty excited about this session. That's the reason why I want you to maximize your learning. I want you to write things down and I want you to take notes. But before we even start, please download. Download this uh, worksheet right now that you can find inside your box, inside your tool section. No? Pwede nyo i-download muna bago mapanood po to, so that you can write things down and I want you to Keep in mind, if you write things down, chances are you will remember it. But if you don't write things down, you will what? Forget it. So let's get right into the session after you have downloaded the worksheet right now. In my 42 years of selling, this is what I've realized. The lifeblood of any direct selling business, especially in the building of sales, real estate, insurance, network, marketing, or any other products are what we call as prospects. Without new prospects, you won't have any new leads. No leads equivalent to no appointments, no appointments equivalent to no presentation, no presentation equivalent to no sales and no sales equivalent to no income and that is not what you want to happen for you and your sales team so let me define the goals why we are doing what we're doing I designed this program to equip both new and experienced salespeople or salesperson or distributors don't ever say I matagal na ako alam ko na yan when you say alam ko na yan we have a problem once you are a fruit and when you are ripe, your next stage will be rotten. I believe even though there are things that you might know already in what I'm going to share with you, but what I expect from you right now in this session is just pick one good idea, one good idea and try to improve on your current credibility already and current experience. And my goal also is to help equip your team and create what we call the right prospecting strategies and techniques in building connections and eventually closing a sale. Especially, uh, what we call as uh, if you are not yet uh, familiar okay probably you are not familiar with uh, your entire team and probably there's what we call as familiarity with your entire team once you teach them something they will say i i know it already alam ko na yan. but hearing it from an outside perspective it will greatly help or probably these are also for people na hindi po alam kung how to train your team you can share this video you can share and ask them to subscribe also to this video so that they can learn so what are the things that they can learn they they will be able to learn how to gain people's trust and number two they will also learn and understand prospects emotional and what we call as buying triggers because if you do understand them it's so easy it's so easy to connect with them and last but not the least is to also learn how to qualify prospects so after this session you will gain necessary knowledge and skills to be able to become a master prospector again congratulations thank you for joining and enrolling in this session my goal is for you to learn and learning is a continuous things education is a must and the reason why I always tell people why people become unsuccessful in what they're doing is because of the lack of opportunities but it's more of the lack of what knowledge and the reason why you do not have is because you do not know the reason why they are having a hard time doing what they're doing is because they just do not know likewise the, the reason why you're having a hard time prospecting is because you just do not know in order for you to understand and appreciate what I'm trying to say one time one of my seminars a sales agent came upon me and then told me uh, can you help me with my sales career kasi nahirapan talaga ako mag invite mag present mag close oh sabi ko sure why not and then I asked him this question. Sabi ko, how many deals have you closed last month? Sabi niya, wala. How many appointments did, did you set last week? Okay, sabi niya, wala. How many presentations did you make last week? Sabi niya, wala. How many people that you talked to last week? Wala. <laughs> so, basically, alam niyo na siguro ang problema. Ano ba problema niya? Ang problema niya, wala siyang ginagawa. Tinanong ko sa kanya, bakit ka wala ginagawa? Why didn't you do anything? Sabi niya, Number one, honestly, bago lang ako, hindi ko alam. And number two, really takot ako. I'm really so afraid of rejection. So after a few rejections, sabi niya, he stopped. And then because, well, because why did you stop? Because it's so painful. Or not only painful, ta, pag nagpa-follow pa ako, they avoid me already. So in other words, wala siyang results. Okay. So right now, let's think about this situation. May kakilala ba kayong tao na talaga sumali sa negosyo sa larangan ng pagbebenta para lang malugi at para di kumita? <laughs> Wala! Everybody wants to become successful. However, every new salesperson is motivated and excited. They want to make a lot of money. They want to become successful. But the new distributors are ill-equipped. They do not know what to say. They do not know how to approach. That's the reason why, alam mo yung nangyayari niyan? Simple lang. If we do not prepare ourselves for success, we are only preparing ourselves for what? 
For failure. Alam mo, itong problema, lalo na pagka na-inspire mo na yung mga members mo or what we call sa network marketing, mga downlines mo, di ba? Nag, ano ka na, nag-invite, na-close mo na, nag-present mo na. Kung ikaw na sa real estate, di ba? Trinain mo na yung mga tao mo. Kung ikaw na sa insurance, ang ginawa mo naman ay tinuruan mo na sila kung paano gagawin. Pero ang problema, motivated sila, inspired sila, yayaman sila. Ito yung problema. Yung dream level nila, nandito. Oo. Pero yung skill level nila, ay eh, nandito sa baba. Diba? Dream level is here. Skill level is here. So, the problem is this. Listen. Excited sila. Diba? Excitement lang. Pero pag yung skill level nila, hindi tumataas, darating ang panahon, ano mangyayari? Babas, bababa yung excitement level, yung dream level. At pag bumaba na yung dream level, ano mang mangyayari niyan? They will stop and they will just quit. So, it's very important. Keep their excitement high, their dream level high, but you need to build up their what? Skill level to match their what we call as what? Dream level. So, if you do not prepare them, you know what will happen? Ay, nako, you are preparing them for failure. Simple lang yan eh. If we do not prepare them for success, again, we are preparing them for failure. For ano lang ah, mga experts, especially kung ikaw ay magaling na salespeople sa insurance, real estate, or ikaw isang magaling na upline, mat matagal ka ng networker, please, ito lang, word of ano, advice. Do not expect everyone to be as good as you are. Do not expect them to learn the entire what? Yung 20 years of experience or 10 years experience mo in just a few meetings. It just takes time, effort, and practice to learn the art of what selling, especially the art of prospecting. We cannot expect our new distributors or new members or new sellers to know and learn on their own. Come on! You know what? Listen, it is our job to learn and teach them the right prospecting skills. I always tell people, especially in an organization, the failure of the student is the failure of the teacher. We must do our part. If we do not do our part, you know what will happen? You know what will happen? Ay, nako. They will become a failure right now. That their problem will become your problem. And that's the reason why this training is crucial and important. My next question to you is, do you believe that experience is the best teacher? <laughs> Uh, if you said yes, let me tell you, instead of trial and error, why don't we learn from other people's mistakes? So, right now, are you ready? Are you ready to become a master perspective? You're ready? Okay, please pause this video and let's watch the next one. So, let's get right into it. First question, what is a prospect? A prospect is a potential person or company who may buy from you. So what we must understand or we need to understand when it comes to prospect. Okay, reminder lang, a prospect is more than a what? A lead. Always remember, they're not numbers. Okay, a prospect is a person. Many people find the term prospect is a little bit kind of what? Insulting. Medyo degrading ng konti. If you parang treat them as number, it reduces them to become just like an object. Diba? Parang, ay, ay, ano ko lang yan? Uh, pang, ano ko yan? Pambayad ko ng kuryente yan? Or if not naman, pang balance ko yan? O, o pang pairing ko yan? O pang, ano, pang points ko no. Always remember that the leads are prospects, are people. They have feelings, they have emotions just like us. They struggle, they succeed, they fail. They are not a number or a thing, but they are a person. Okay? But unfortunately, Yun nga, we tend to look at the prospect in a different manner. And likewise, the, likewise, listen, the prospect also have a tendency to look at us at a different what, perspective. My question is, how do prospect view or prospects view us? Okay, if you want to know, let's watch this video. แมงสาบป้าฟังกันหน่อยดิคือผมเห็นลูกๆอย่างเนี้ยก็ยังเล็กกันอยู่นะครับก็ชูๆอย่างเงี้ยตายขึ้นมาเนี่ยลูกเห
ไรบ้างนะที่มาช่วยไม่เป็นไรครับเออเงี้ยครับแล้วเรื่องประกันที่ยากมากยากนะขายประกันพี่ใหญ่ป้าไปไหนอะป้าไปจ่ายค่าไฟไม่อยากติดแล้วต้องรถชนที่ตลาดดีนะครับที่มาทันขอบใจมากนะที่นายช่วยตีเล็กไว้อ่ะผมมีสองร้อยช่วยค่ารักษาในเฮียไม่ต้องเดี๋ยวบริษัทนายก็มาจ่ายให้เองอ่ะอ้าวเฮียยังไม่ทำประกันไม่ใช่เหรอทำแล้วทำในชื่อนายด้วยต่อไปเนี่ยครอบครัวเฮียก็ต้องฝากให้นายดูแลด้วยนะขอบคุณครับเฮียดีบ้าน่าตาว่ากันอยู่ดีบ้าติงสะอาดในไอ้อินเซกโตอีพีสดีบ้าคดีรีอินิยูอาซันอะไรมั้ยยันยังปัญหาอ่า if we do not understand that ang parating tinitingting na hard sell tayo so one thing that you need to understand okay I just like to share with you the ten characteristic of a master what perspective pag na master niyo po tong sampu na ito kahit isa lang isa lang one by one ay you'll become a great master perspective number one thing that we need to learn from master prospector master prospectors build relationship this is what I've learned I've learned it the hard way as I mentioned learn from my mistakes ang goal ko lang talaga dati makabenta di ba benta 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 di ba pag nakakita ako ng tao ang tingin ko sa kanila pera <laughs> pag pumupunta ako sa sa church minsan ang tingin na prospect di ba habang nag-worship ka di ba di ba nag-worship ka pag may pumasok ka ay prospect 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 <laughs> Alam mo, ito lang po ah. If you want to sell pa more, if you want to become successful in selling, listen. Stop becoming a salesperson and start becoming a what? A friend. Always remember this. Selling is just like dating. Imagine mo, first date mo. First date, first date, first time na nag meet up. Wala pang relationship, wala pang connection, di mo pa kilala. Tapos sabi mo, oh, will you marry me? Sagutin mo na ako. Ha? Sino ka? Alam mo, ito lang. Dating is a process, di ba? Siyempre, kailangan mo muna getting to know stage, di ba? Kailangan mo, kailangan magpakilala ka muna, di ba? Likewise, selling is a process. Kailangan makilala mo muna yung prospect mo, makausap mo muna. The goal again is not to close the sale in the first meeting. Always remember, the goal is to gain their what? Their prospect. Trust. Tiwala mo na. Build relationship. Di ba? No. Di ba? Kung ano ba talaga ang gusto talaga nila. Kasi uulipin ko ha. If your goal is to immediately close, you will not close the sale. Because they can smell an ipis a mile away. They can smell a salesperson a mile away. Alam mo, allergic talaga ako. Ahente, di ba? Galit sa kapo, ahente. Ayaw ko talagang mabentahan. Pero gusto ko talagang bumili sa mga tao talagang ano, may ano talaga. What we call as number two. Ito po. Ano yung meron na dapat? ng isang master prospector in order for you to become effective and what you're doing master prospector care for what others oh oh like for example di ba kunyari again babalik tayo sa dating di ba una kikilalani mo na build ka na relationship kamusta na di ba kumain ka na ba di ba yun ang ginagawa mo eh. pagka ikaw nga may kakilala kang bago eh you got to be more interested at their interest di ba talk about their interests di ba ano bang gusto mo ano ba yung like mo ano ba yung favorite mo ano ba yung mga passion mo di ba in other words after you gain trust what we call you start to care for others imagine may kadate ka imagine wala nang ibang ginawa kundi pinag-usapan ang kanyang sarili <laughs> alam mo kung gaano ka galing alam mo kung gaano ka kayaman alam mo gaano ka successful o sige ikaw na ikaw na ikaw na <laughs> like oh guys come on in sales also in order for you to close the sales dapat hindi pinag-uusapan mo yung sarili mo about your wonderful company wonderful product ba diba? pero wala namang pinag-uusapan kung ano ba talaga ang concern ng ano client mo always remember it's not about you it's about them John Maxwell made mention, people do not care how much you know until they know how much you really what you care. You show that you really care for what? Others. That's the second thing. The second thing that I learned from what we call as what? Master Prospector. Right now, let's go to number three. Okay, third characteristic of a Master Prospector. 
Aside from getting in uh, to know the stage, to yung interest sa other people, yung showing concern. Number three po, master perspective, prioritize others before what? Self. Ang iniisip muna niya, hindi yung sa kanyang sarili, iniisip muna niya yung kung ano makukuha na kanyang client. No? Alam mo, ito lang kailangan natin maintindihan. Eh. Alam mo, pag pumasok ay isang prospect, no sa isang meeting what's running in a prospect's mind ano bang pumapasok sa utak niya iniisip niya di ba ang iniisip niya ito simple w i f m what's in it for me how can it benefit me ano ba yung i-offer sa akin ano bang pakinabang ko dito but the problem is this the problem is this what's running naman on a perspective of a what a seller o di ba how can it benefit me how much can i earn from this deal di ba nako talong yayaman na ako o let's say makakabay na ako sa mga pangailangan ko. In other words, alam mo nangyayari niyan, may gusto yung client mo, may gusto ka. Ito yung, situ- ito yung picture. Picture while we are meeting and presenting. Ito. You are having what we call as a tug of war. Hilaan lang kayo. Hilaan. So in other words, pag naghilaan, ma- mag-uubusan ng lakas eh. Diba? Uh, parang, ang goal ng seller, ay mabenta kita. Ang goal naman ng buyer, ay hindi ako bumili. <laughs> Kontra lang. Alam mo, the right mindset is this. The right mindset is this. We need to ask ourselves, how can it benefit my what? Prospect. Think about others rather than think about themselves. What's in it for them? W-I-F-T. Ang dapat is, hindi what's in it for me. What's in it for them? The reason why some people are having a hard time selling is because they are too self-centered and not client-centered. I will repeat, they are too self-centered, they are not client-centered. Again, let's go back to the idea of dating. Alam mo, kaya nga maraming nagbabasted na friend zone. Kasi, ano? <laughs> Niisip lang kung ano nararamdaman niya. Niisip niya kung anong feelings niya. Diba? Nasaktan siya, hindi siya pinansin, nag na agad. So in other words, instead of thinking about the feelings and being sensitive about the feelings of the person you're pursuing, they're always thinking about them. That's the reason why lumalabas yung bad attitude eh. Alam mo, if you start thinking about others rather than thinking about themselves, alam mo, ay, nako, hindi ka naman ma-friendzone. <laughs> Parang ano na ito ah, ligawan seminar na ito. Ang question ko right now, do you want to sell and earn pa more? So, if you want, please, please, Keep this in mind, just like my latest, uh, my my late mentor Zig Ziglar once said, just help enough other people to get what they want and you will also get what you want in life. Tulungan mo makuha kung anong gusto ng kliyente mo at prospect mo. Pag nakuha nila kung anong gusto nila, makukuha mo kung anong gusto mo. Grabe talaga to. Diba? So that's number three. Right now, let's go to Master Prospector number four. Ano yung fourth characteristic nila? Master Prospector study what their prospects want. Ay, grabe to. Again, ha, para mas makarelate po tayo, again, balik tayo sa dating, di ba? Bago ka nga actually bandigaw eh, di ba? Alamin mo muna kung ano yung gusto niya, ano like niya, ano dislike niya. Yung like niya, maging like mo. Yung dislike niya, maging dislike mo. Alamin mo kung ano yung weakness. Ano ba talaga? Kunyari, minsan nagpapatuloy ka pa, uy, anong gusto pa talaga ng friend mo? So, di ba nagigets nyo? You try to investigate, and then kung anong gusto niya, yan ang binibigay mo, di ba? You just don't go in and just present yourself. <laughs> diba? I'm uh, ang galing ko. Diba? Ito yung gusto ko para sa'yo. No, it's not about what you want for them. It's what they really want. Again, at the same time, not only what they want, it's what people do not want. Diba? Alam mo, isa pang kailangan natin maunawahan na, especially when it comes to the process of selling. What people do not want, people do not want to be sold to. Ang tao, ayaw nilang mabentahan. Again, uulitin ko ha. Kasi ayaw na naman talaga nilang ano eh, yung talaga maisahan ba? <laughs> Pero ito lang ha, weird. Ayaw ng taong mabentahan. But, you know what people want? People love to shop. Oo. di ba? Di ba? I don't know, women. <laughs> women love to shop. Ay, ito lang ha. They don't want to be sold to. Ay, nako. Ayun nila ng ahente. Pero mismo sila, kung kusa sila, kung gusto nila, bibili sila ng bibili. In other words, hindi mo pwedeng pilitin ang isang tao na ayaw. Likewise, di ba? Sa paniligaw, hindi mo pwedeng pilitin na mahalin ka ng isang tao at tanggapin ka ng isang tao pag hindi ka niya like. As simple as that. 
Likewise, hindi mo rin pwedeng pilitin. Come on, let's talk about this. You cannot force someone to buy from you if they are not interested to buy from you. Alam mo, pag lalo mong pinipilit, lalo na inis. Yan yung mga old style of ano, eh, selling na nakaka-turn off talaga, which I did before. Hindi ka lalabas dito hanggat di ka pupirma. Papagurin kita dalawang araw, sa, dalawang araw tayo magpapresent. <laughs> Alam mo, ito na lang. Para mas magets gets po. Gusto nyo ba talaga maging effective? Do you want really to become effective in selling? We got to understand what we call as what? Emotional triggers. This is the part where I'm gonna teach you about emotional triggers. So, please uh, give more emphasis and time on this. Oh, okay? Pakinggan nyo itong mabuti. Itong emotional trigger na ito, we got to understand uh, a human brain, okay, or a person has what we call as two types of what? Way of thinking. Number one is what we call as logic. Number two is what we call as emotion. Logic is the way of thinking. Emotion is the way of feeling. Okay? Like for example, di ba? Mm. Uh, gusto mong, let's say, magtipid. Di ba? Magtipid. Di ba? Kasi ayaw mo na talagang gumastos. Di ba? Ta- kasi nga, lubog ka na sa utang. Di ba? Logic tells you, kailangan mo na magtipid. Kailangan mo na mag-budget. Tama? Pero paglabas mo, paglabas mo, nakakita ka sa mall na may sale, S-A-L-E. At nakita mo, yung sapatos na 4,000 dati ngayon, 800 na lang. Yung, ano, yung shoes, yung shoes, 800 na lang. ba Pero sinasabi ng logic mo, ay, wag ka na bumili kasi wala kang pera, ba Nagbabudget ka na. Pero ano sabi ng emotions mo? What will your emotions tell you? Ah, nako, bilin mo na yan. Sayang yan. Nako, nako pag bumalik sa 4,000, nako, ma- magsisisi ka. I-credit card mo na yan. I-charge mo na yan. Question, who will win? Logic or what we call as what? Emotion. So, <laughs> sino mananalo? It's not logic na sinasabi na sa munang mag Ang mananalo, emotion. di ba? Eh, kaya nga, very important. When the two collide with one another, there's what we call a conflict between logic and emotion. Logic, 99% will lose. Emotion will what? Because people are emotional beings. They're not logical beings. Okay? That's the reason why, <laughs> alam mo, when it comes to selling, no? when it comes to selling, you got to understand how to tap in, not to the logical uh, side, but to the emotional aspect of a person. Ano ba yung emotional trigger niya? Alamin mo. Ano ba yung hugot niya? Kung bakit niya gusto gawin, paano ka makakapenetrate, paano ka makakabenta, paano ka makakaklose, paano ka makakonect. It's not about logical, it's all about emotional. Why? People do not buy because they only need it, but people buy because they what? want it. Binibili nila ng isang bagay, hindi dahil kailangan nila, dahil gusto nila. Ang mga babae, one more thing, hindi na nila kailangan ng marami pang sapatos. Eh kasi, isang pares ng paa. Pero, ang dami nilang mga sapatos. Ano sila? Mga pugita? <laughs> diba? Sampu ba kanilang mga paa? <laughs> ang dami nilang paa. Because they want to feel good. When they buy a new pair of shoes, matching their pants, matching their bags, they feel good. It's not about logic. It's all about emotion. Do you get it? So right now, if you want to become a master prospector, tap into what we call as the emotional trigger. Okay? So right now, uh, gagawin po natin, we're gonna pause for this video. Uh, pagkatapos na natin mag-pause tong video na ito, ang gagawin po natin, the next topic we're gonna talk about, which, please, don't miss it. I'm gonna teach you about the buying triggers. And as you know already, the emotional trigger of a person, and next na kailangan natin maunawan, what are the buying triggers of a person? Okay? A moment ago, uh, in our last session, we talked about the emotional trigger. This is a continuation of the emotional trigger. We're going to talk about the buying triggers. What motivates people to buy? Okay, number one. Ano ba yung kanilang buying trigger? Number one is what we call as fear. Fear is an emotion that can be used in a wide variety of marketing ano, uh, strategies or messages. Like for example, may mga iba, yung mga insurance companies, hindi ko man nila lahat, they often appeal to what we call as the emotion of fear. Diba? Uh, like for example, pag hindi ka bumili at kung may mangyari sa'yo, diba? syempre naman, at paano naman pamilya mo, yan ang tinatawag na fear. Or like for example, yung tinatawag na ano, yung fear of loss. Ay nako, itong sale na ito, diba? hanggang ano na lang to, two days na lang to, pag hindi mo kinuha or within 48 hours pag hindi mo kinuha ito or let's say within how many hours last day na itong sale na ito pag what we call hindi mo kinuha wala na itong sale na ito it's what we call as the fear of what yung FOMO fear of missing out so that's number one emotional trigger alamin mo rin no? but ito lang po ang, ang, ang danger uh, I, I would like to balance this 
uh, if you want to use the emotional trigger or buying trigger of fear but please do it ethically ethically let us not try to manipulate people of believing nako pagka alam mo pag hindi mo binili to like for example sa insurance hindi mo mahal ang pamilya mo alam mo wala kang kwentang tao irresponsa alam mo that's not a good way of what uh, tapping into this let's just do this ethically walang guilt trip ba walang ano eh, kailangan lang ma-realize lang niya uh, kasi one thing I've learned kasi especially in the fear uh, in the field of selling talaga pagka na, nalaman nyo na itong mga tinatawag na emotional trigger or buying trigger at ginamit mo sa mali ay nako hindi siya maganda pero ako naman that's the reason why I'm educating you in order for you to understand further okay so that's number one fear and number two is what we call as guilt Alam mo, as consumers also, we, I, I'm also a consumer. I'm easily affected by messages that trigger what we call is motion of guilt. Like for example, uh, yung, diba, yung mga makikita mo yung mga nasa mall at may lalapit sa yung mga save the animals, save the environment, or let's say yung mga, ha- yung mga taong nagugutom na, may nakasulit siya, don't let them suffer anymore. <laughs> diba? Parang, diba? It's just one ano it's just one cup of your favorite coffee per month oh di ba parang pag imagine mo pag iinom ka ngayon ng milk tea mo or yung kape mo oh, oh. <laughs> ito, ito ay buhay ng isang bata di ba nagigets mo ito yung ginagamit din nila so syempre tayo naman again do this ethically uh, how do I present this syempre I will tell this on a positive way alam mo wala pa akong taong nakilala na gusto pang maghirap ang kanilang pamilya Diba? Do you want your family to be secure? Diba? You don't want naman diba, na ma-insecure yung pamilya mo pag wala ka na. Diba? Gusto, mahal mo ba yung pamilya mo? Definitely. We all love our families. Alam ko, mahal na mahal mo yung pamilya mo. Diba? So, in other words, hindi natin gagawin negative, gagawin natin positive. Because the natural tendency of people, the reason why they're doing, they're working so hard is because of their families. Okay? So, do it properly. Number one, again, is fear. Number two is what we call as what? Guilt. Number three, third emotional trigger or what we call as buying trigger is what we call as what? Trust. Tiwala. Uh, trust is one of the actually uh, most effective for me. Most effective right now in the way of marketing and connecting with your audience. Kasi again, I, as a social media influencer also, as you know, I have 2 million followers at Facebook. I have over how many hundreds of, ay, ilan thousand, <laughs> nakalimutan ko na, sa YouTube. Diba? Sa YouTube, marami rin yung followers. And the reason why people follow me because they trust me. So, in every company organization, alam mo, ang, ang gagawin po natin is you've got to build relationship. You've got to build trust. Like financial companies, they're leading the way uh, by you know by being honest. Alam mo, especially, you know, uh, I would like to buy from someone na walang hidden charges, walang hidden fees. I hate, I really hate yung mga... Be, uh, it, no offense meant, no? Sa mga airline companies naman. Sasabihin sa'yo, ito yung fair, pero pagdating mo doon, ang daming charges, surcharges, gasoline charges, taxes. Pag nakita, ha? Ano ba to? Alam mo, sa totoo lang, nakaka-turn off talaga. Mas maganda kung mag-post po tayo ng price na talagang net na po siya. Hindi po siya yung gross. Diba? Tapos may mga da- additional, additional charges pa. So third, is once you can build trust, you can tap into the, what you call as their buying triggers and emotional trigger. And number four, Another way to really tap in and to be able to close your prospect is what we call as what? Value. Everybody say value. Value is another thing that can really, uh, what we call, make people boom, make people buy, make people, uh, what we call is close the deal, di ba? Like for example, uh, may mga ibang company sinasabi nila, di ba? Yung parang value. If you can find a better price, di ba? Better price then the same product will match it diba will match it and then we will refund it diba or if we, we will refund it kung may nakita ka pang so parang ikaw nakikita mo talaga may value for money talaga alam mo kasi people don't want to be short change ay nila na maloko again people want to get the best deals people want to find reasonable what prices diba nagigets nyo that's another emotional trigger yung value and aside from that what you can do also is you what we call a stock up and bundle. Bundle your products together. Alam mo, pag bumili ka nito, meron ka nitong free ganito, not only that, but wait, there's more. Alam mo, as you put more value in what you're offering, yung parang buying trigger ng tao, tumataas. 
it must come to a point na talagang ano na eh, parang uh, sayang pag hindi ko binili to. This is a good opportunity for me to miss. Yan ang tinatawag na value offer. Number five, also another buying trigger is what we call as belonging. People want to belong. People want to feel a uh, new feel of community. Like for example, yung parang why do people buy branded products? Na kahit na medyo may mataas yung price because it's a it's a it's a small group. May belonging, di ba? Marami ako nakikita nyo mga product like for example, example I just came out uh, uh, I just came from another country. Alam naman natin yung mga Supreme, Balenciaga, at talagang prices niyan are too high. Talagang sobrang taas talaga. Pero alam din naman natin, meron diyan sa mga changge at saka sa mga ano na alam mo talagang Japakes o sinasabi copy, <laughs> pero Japakes. Pero may mga iba talaga even though na ano, alam din ng pricey, they still opt to opt to buy from the original. They don't buy the fake. Kasi yung feeling of belonging, parang imagine mo eh <laughs> since like na trying hard ka na <laughs> nagna trying bumili ka na lang ng original pag nakasuot ka pa ng fake di ba ang bang sabihin sa inyo ng tao trying hard ka talaga it's a feeling of belongingness eh. that's another thing di ba in community di, yan ang importante that's another emotional trigger uh, likewise uh, that's the reason why I created a group no a community a belonging of iponarios Diba? I teach people how to save, diba? So yung mga iponaryo siya, we are the one ano parang uh, encouraging one another to really mag-ipon. Eh, diba nagegets niyo? Pag nag-ipon naman sila magbe-benefit. Ginagamit ko yung tinatawag na emotional trigger or buying trigger on a positive note. N- nagegets niyo? So that's another way. Number 6 po. Number 6, uh, how can you entice a person is through what we call as income opportunity or business opportunity. Why? Because people want to make money. This is what, ito lang, listen, look at me. This is one of the most powerful way in order for you to connect with a person. Grabe. Instead of selling to them, di ba, bebenta kita, no, bibigyan kita ng opportunity na kumita. Mas maraming tao ang gustong kumita kaysa gumastos. Tama o mali? So, kung bebenta mo siya, konti lang market mo. Pero kung o-offer ka ng business opportunity, ang laki ng market mo because everybody wants to make more money. That's number six. So, so if you're in the business of offering a business opportunity, like for example, nagre-recruit ka for real estate no? or nagre-recruit ka for uh, yung uh, insurance or nagre-recruit ka sa network marketing or multi-level marketing, that's another good buying trigger. Number seven, another buying trigger that you can really offer people is what we call as what? Convenience. Uh, alam mo, at times na- nowadays, traffic, stress, the heat of the sun, people wants to make life what? Easier. Easy access. People are willing to pay a price. That's the reason why ang dami ng mga tinatawag na mga ano, yung mga nagde-deliver, tapos instead na ikaw bumili, may nagbibili na sa'yo, lalo na yung mga tinatawag na mga coffee, milk tea, food, di ba? May umu-order na para sa may nagla-line up na. That's another way to what? Uh, to connect with people. Okay? So, number eight, Another powerful emotional trigger or buying trigger is what people love to what? Save. People want to save time. People want to save effort. People want to save energy. People want to save money. Anything that you can offer about savings. Like for example, may gadget ka nang nagka-save ng uh, kuryente, uh, solar energy, or if not naman, uh, pag in-invite mo sila, makakasave sila agad. Meron silang 30% discount, 50% discount. ba? Alam mo, like for example, pumunta ako sa isang restaurant, isang Italian restaurant. ba? Bago ako i-bill, sabi niya, sir, ito na yung bill mo. Pero alam niyo, sir, makakakuha kayo ng 20% discount from now on or uh, from now on if you purchase this card. No? So, ako naman, nagbibilang ako. Madalas ako naman kumain dito. Oy, magkano mas save ko? So, that's another buying trigger. Number nine, number nine, na hindi masyado napapansin at probably alam nyo na, pero alam mo, ito pa, isa pang buying trigger, emotion trigger is what we call as vanity. <laughs> Anything that makes them look more attractive. People nowadays want to look young, they want to feel young, they want to be, mo, become more whiter, much more ano, slender. Diba yung mga magpapayat ba? Eh, kaya nga, eh, hit na hit talaga ang aking friend na si Vicky Bello. Mm-mm. Sobrang yaman na ito. Ang, gal- ang galing niya talaga, no? Uh, gumawa siya ng parang mga, ano, yung mga sa plastic surgery, liposuction. Pero alam mo, that's in AB market. Pero gumawa na rin siya ng CD market. Gumawa na rin siya ng soap. Gumawa na rin siya ng whitening lotion. May gluta tayo na rin siya. Ah, very smart business person. Number 10, also, another buying trigger is what we call as extension. Anything that can help to extend one person's money, resources, time, energy, life, 
especially, di ba? Alam mo naman, people want to live longer nowadays. Di ba? Alam mo, basta anything that can extend your life, that's another emotional trigger. Kaya nga, uh, yung mga tinatawag na health card, di ba? Health card. And health is another issue. So, marami po nag-enroll sa health card because they want life extension. Another emotional trigger that probably you can use also is use what? Innovation. People want to improve their lives. People want something that's new. Like, diba? Technology. Diba? Parati pag bibili ang tao, ang unang tanong, anong bago? Hindi niya siya nagka, anong luma? No, anong bago sa'yo? So, if you can innovate things, Diba? Hindi ka lang don't be stag uh, don't be stagnant by offering one product alone. Always think of new ideas, new products, new opportunities, new services. Once you start to innovate, people start to become more interested. And last but not the least, ito. One of the most powerful way to really open and then trigger someone to really be interested in what you're offering is what we call as what? Security. Anything that can offer them peace of mind. Because people want to live in peace. They don't, they don't want war. They don't want chaos. That's the reason why if you can uh, offer what we call emotional peace, mental peace, financial peace. Diba? Yung parang ano, nag-iisip sila na, ay, nako, may peace of mind ako dito. Ay, nako, gusto mo bang mag-retire ka na wala ka ng problema sa pera? Oh, ba? Diba? Gusto mong ika nga makabili ng bahay na wala ka nang iisipin ng monthly amortization at magiging iyon na hindi ka na mariremata? Di ba? Gusto mo bang magkaroon ng isang business opportunity na bibigyan ka ng monthly income, residual income ng 50,000 to 100,000 a month kahit may, wala ka nang ginagawa for the rest of your life? Oh, what we call as what? N nagigits nyo? Grabe. Kaya nga sinasabi ko, alam mo, sa 42 years of selling ko, kung alam mo lang kung anong alam ko, ay alam mo, napakadaling magbenta kasi alam mo yung tinatawag na emotional trigger or what we call as buying trigger. So this is what I want you to do right now. Let's do a workshop. I want you to check. I want you to check right now if what you are offering have the following. Okay? Let's look at your worksheet right now. Number one, does your company offer value for money? Yung binibenta mo talaga, talagang sobra-sobra yung value na sinasabi ng tao, nako, lugi ako pag hindi ko binili. Hindi lugi ako pag binili ko. Lugi ako, tanga na lang. Ah, parang yun, short of sick, tanga na lang ako pag hindi ako bumili. Yun talagang sila na magkukusa. They're going to sell to themselves. Na, number, oh, not only that, what does your company make people feel when they buy the product, when they buy the service? Ano po nararamdaman nila? Do they feel better? Do they feel good? Do they feel confident? Do they feel a group of belonging? Does your company what we call as offer what we call as convenience? Or does your company offer product that makes them feel young or what we call as look young? Does your company also offer what we call as life extension? Does your company also always offer something that is what? New? Does a company what we call offer what we call security or what we call as peace of mind? So I want you to check I want you to check kung anong meron at gusto kong i-highlight nyo. I-highlight nyo sa presentation nyo, nyo. There are 12 emotional triggers that you can tap into but don't use everything in one a sitting. You can use one or two. Then, then after that, you make a presentation. Okay? So, I want you to pause this video right now. Ang gagawin po natin, eh, pag-uusapan muna natin to, gawin nyo muna to. And then after that, we're going to number five. Okay? What is the fifth characteristic of a master prospector? I hope that you are learning from our session and let's continue our learning session, especially if you're new in sales, network marketing, direct selling, uh, real estate insurance. One of the greatest uh, problem of most uh, what they call salespeople are what we call as they run out of leads. Now, ubusan sila ng leads. Once they run out of leads, they get discouraged. Once they get discouraged, they stop and they quit. So I want to help you on this number five. Fifth master prospector characteristic is what? Master prospector are resourceful in creating what we call as what leads. I want to help you to create more what leads. Uh, ways to create more leads. Number one, ito yung mga tip ko. So please take down the notes already. Mag notes na po tayo. Number one, join clubs and organization. Examples, mga tinatawag natin ng mga breakfast club, rotary, JC, school organization, communities, and what churches. Why should you join this? Because this is one of the easiest and best ways to build what we call as what? Your network, your center of what? Influence. Alam mo, kagandaan po, ang dami kasing advantages nito eh. Alam mo, each member of that, yung club, yung Kiwanis, yung uh, yung tinatawag na ano, Lions Club or Rotary. You have the chance to network and promote your products and services. Like-minded people are coming together. So, people can come and ask you questions like, for example, oh, yan ang negosyo mo. Ah, ito yung ginagawa. Ah, ito yung negosyo ko. So, nagkakapalitan na kayo. In other words, na pre-sold mo na. 
uh, to the qualified prospect for your business. Imagine that, no? Instead of looking for cold prospects, na wala kang relation relationship, wala kang credibility, hindi ka, no? Right now, you will not spend your time and waste your time on cold presentation. You will spend your, invest your time on pre-sold prospects who can't get to wait to get started with you because they trust you. Diba? Won't that be a major change in your normal prospecting activities? And that is the best part. You don't have to worry about yung tinatawag na rejection or embarrassment because magkakasama kayo sa grupo. Magkakaibigan kayo. Diba? Ang pre-sold prospects, no, it's much more easier than to invite them because again, the sense of trust is there. So, nagigit siya na ba? So, that's number one. Ang advantage pa nito, no? Number one, uh, why people will join you is because, number one, because the reason why they want to join and buy from you is because they already know you. Kilala ka na eh, di ba? Prospect only want to buy from people they know. They don't want to buy from strangers, di ba? Ako naman, ayaw ko rin bumili ng people who just approach me. Pero pag may relationship na, nabibuild up ka na, Diba? Sa kanyari, membership mo, sa church mo. Diba? Alam na yung background mo. Diba? Kilala ka na, may trust na. When you actually meet prospects, they will already uh, feel that they, ano, they know you. That's number one. Number two, ang advantage pa nito, prospects would instantly like you. Admit it or not, come on. This is a, uh, what we call, as a sales principle. People only buy from people they like. They don't buy from people they don't like. If they don't like you, even you have the best product, services, but if they don't like you, they won't buy from you. Alam mo, ang ganda eh, di ba? Ang feeling pag bumibili ka sa isang tao na likable, di ba? So question, are you also likable, di ba? Number three, prospects also a third advantage if you create a group, yung sa... An organization, your prospect will trust you. Again, if you don't buy from people you do not like, you don't also people uh, buy from people you don't trust, diba? Like for example, uy, saan bang, sino bang magaling na doktor? Uy, magaling na doktor, yung taga-grupo natin. Alam mo ba, yung taga-art group natin, si doktor, ah, ganito, si doktor Steve Lim, oh, ang galing na urologist yan. Oh, so, ang mangyayari niyan, they will instantly trust because it's a recommendation of another person. Diba? Alam mo, one of the greatest hurdle in sales, in business, in sales, uh, direct selling, network marketing, or insurance is what we call as what? Trust. Ang hirap talaga winning sa isang tao na hindi mo pinagkakatiwalaan. That's the reason why uh, make, uh, make prospecting easy and fun and efficient. The more, the more people trust you, the more people like you, the higher chance of you closing, closing the sale. Okay? That's number one. Yung tinatawag na close group. Number two, na probably nine-neglect po natin, is what? Attend seminars that are related to your what we call as what? Industry. Oo. Kasi ito po yung problema. No? Ito yung problema ng karamihan po sa atin. Uh, we came out, uh, noong nag-umpisa tayo, we came out from inside. Diba? So ngayon, nasa real estate ka na, insurance, or nasa network marketing ka na. Matagal mo nakakilala yung mga taong yon So, ang parati mo lang kasama, yung mga ta pare-parehong tao, Diba? Kayong kayo na lang. But the problem is, they're, they're only members na sila. You cannot sell to another member. Kunya rin, nasa network marketing ka. Hindi mo na pwedeng i-recruit pa yung downline mo, yung crossline mo. Tapos na. Ang nangyayari niya, nagbibuild tayo ng sarili nating grupo, hindi na tayo lumalabas. That's the reason why, another way, you should stop meeting already your, ano, yung mga grupo mo. Attend seminars that are related to your industry. Sample po tayo, like for example, real estate, insurance, direct selling, investment, business opportunity. Ako, kunyari, naghahanap ako for mga real estate. Pupunta ako sa mga seminars na naghahanap ng investment. Kasi, one of the investment I can offer, kung mag-connect na ako, mag-build ako ng trust sa mga participants, is my, pro is my product, my property. Kung ako nun sa network marketing ako, sasama ako sa mga tinatawag ng mga franchises. Yung mga... Uh, business opportunities. Why? Kasi nag-offer ako ng business opportunity. Naging gets nyo? Or like for example, kung gusto, ikaw naman na sa insurance, sasama naman ako sa seminars na nag-offer ng mga retirement seminars, di ba? Or the healthcare seminar. Yun yun. Kasi ready market na sila. Uulitin ko ha. Please, stop already selling to your own group. Go out already and form a new group and be part of a group. So in order for you to create new prospects. Number three, Join bazaars and events that can showcase also your business and what we call as your products. Marami yan eh. Diba? Uh, like for example, uh, kung ikaw nagbebenta ka ng pagkain, diba? Or let's say, nagbebenta ka ng mga health product, whitening cream. So kung ano yung mga tinatawag na mga health events, diba? Mag ano ka, mag uh, tinatawag bazaar. O if natin man tinatawag na ano, changi. 
di ba alam mo karamihan ng mga taong lumalaki nag-uumpisa talaga sa maliliit they get to introduce their product ang kagandahan niyan nakakapag-trial na yung produkto mo na trial binabayaran ka pa kasi most companies big companies they give trials for free but they don't make money pero pag sa bazaar you make a certain profit plus na-advertise pa and if people get to like your product they will come back over and over again okay just like my friend no uh, i don't know if you know her she, her name is maricar meron siyang chocolate liquor na brand maricar reyes spoon okay and then ang ginagawa is she join bazaars and then ino offer niya yung ano yung chocolate niya di ba yung chocolate na ang sarap ang sarap chocolate liquor so na promote tayong brand niya right now alam mo nangyari may nag pick up na meron na mga ibang mga coffee shop ang nagke-carry ng kanyang chocolate liquor okay so naka promote na kumita po siya Number four, another way in order for you to create unlimited prospect, do local ads. Again, the word is local. Don't do what we call as national. National ads are too expensive or too pricey. So, ang gagawin po natin, kunyari, nasa Cebu ka lang, di mag-ano ka lang, sa Cebu ka lang mag-ads, di ba? Locality lang. Alam mo, ang mura talaga ng mga radio, uh, TV, at saka print, pag local lang siya, the target market mo na. Why should you throw away money nationwide if you cannot really go to other, ano, other vicinities? Start locally. That's another. That's the reason why I like Facebook. Also, when they do ads, they also do allow you to do what by demographics, ah, tao, target market, tapos target location, de ba age group. So what? Ano ginagawa niya? They do it locally. Para kung gusto mo lang, let's say sa Cebu, sa Mactan, Mactan talang, de ba? And another way in order for you to create unlimited prospects is what we call as what? Isa pang idea is organized seminars. Especially if you have a good information, education, like for example, if you want to educate people about your health, di ba? Because you're selling health product, you educate about health, di ba? In schools, companies, and organizations. Offer topics that are related to your business. Pero ito lang ha, mind you, huwag sanang hard sell. Huwag sana about, oh, this is my wonderful product, this is my wonderful company. Ano mo, again, babalik na naman tayo. Master prospectors are good in what? Building relationship, building trust. At the same time, Um, giving people what they want it's not what you want it's not what's in it for us it's what it's in for them so ang gagawin po natin yan gagawa tayong seminar na generic talaga yung pagkatapos sa seminar uy I, I want to learn pa more di ba o kunyari nagtuturo you are offering business opportunity huwag ka mag-offer agad ah, ito ano to pag sumali ka di ba kikita ka dito may discount ka pag nag-recruit ka may ink ay naku mata-turn off yung tao kasi alam niya na, ay nako, bebenta na naman. Alam mo, sabihin mo sa kanila, alam mo, maganda magnegosyo. Maganda, kasi, pag nagnegosyo ka, ito yung mangyayari sa inyo. And then, bibitinin mo. Bibitinin mo siya pag nag-seminar. Don't give everything. If you want to know, paano ba naging successful, and just give testimonies. Like, for example, dati akong, di ba, 300 pounds. Ngayon, 200 pounds na lang. O, kanyari, weight loss product. Dati akong, let's say, Ulik ba, maitim ako, ngayon maputi na ako, di ba? Ito yung before and after picture. Tapos yun, paano nangyari yun? O oh, dati akong ano, gasoline boy, pero ngayon kumikita na akong 50,000 pesos naman. Paano nangyari yun? So you solicit, ang goal mo talaga, again, it's not to close the sale, but your goal is to create awareness for them to solicit to get more prospects. Nagigets nyo? And then number six, also you can use what we call as technology. Technologies like, for example, social media, na direct mail, blogging. Alam mo, I have a session. Actually, I have another session. Yung tito tawag na social media. How to promote your product through social media? Please watch out. Kasama narin po dito sa chinktv.com. Ang title po nun is How to be an online negosyante. How to use social media in order to promote your products and brand and services. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yun, please do subscribe How to be an online negosyante. Use technology for your advantage. And then number seven also is what we call as what? Word of mouth advertising. This is one of the most powerful way to persuade people to buy and get interested with your product. Alam mo, if It drives your customer to try your products and services more than any marketing techniques. Alam mo pag nagrefer kasi, wai friend, napanood mo na ba tong pili ko lang to? Ano yung pili ko la? Wai ito ang pili ko. Oh talaga? Wai friend, kumain ka na ba sa restaurant? Ay asarap talaga ang mura pa. Oh talaga? So alam mo ang mangyari niya pag na cheese mix ka. Alam mo tao talaga cheese moso. Pag nag-advertise yung mga tao, lalo na using the power of social media, grabe talaga. That's another way of creating unlimited prospects. Number eight is what we call as what the referral system. 
uh, alam mong uh, maganda rin eh, if you give a what referral program, getting your customers to recommend and encourage other people no, is one of the best and most effective way also to get new leads. Alam mo, babalik na naman tayo. Imagine mo, <laughs> no offense meant, no? I'm just kind of turned off. Yung mga nabentahan ka na, tapos hihing ka pa ng referral. <laughs> Kumita na nga sila pagkakakita pa yung network mo. Di ba? Labo. Pero iba yung pagsinabi mo, Ma'am, Sir, uh, is it okay? Are you open for the uh, the idea that you can earn additional income? Again, I'm using the buying trigger of what for them to uh, earn additional income. Are you open to that idea? Sabi mo, sure, why not? So, ano gagawin ko? Sir, since na nagusto mo na yung product na ito, you bought my product already, all you need to do is just refer your friends. Wala kang gagawin. Just do the connection. Kwento mo lang. Pag interesado sila, kami ang pupunta sa bahay, kami magpapresent, kami magka-close. Pero, pero, ah, may pera ka. <laughs> Di ba nagigits nyo? Grabe. Hindi ka na maubusan ng connection. Hindi ka maubusan talaga. Another way, number nine. In order for you to gain more prospect is what? Become an expert. Hmm. Become an expert. Write articles, blogs, newsletters, information, books, give seminars, just like what I'm doing in your chosen field. Diba? Because, ang kagandahan yan, this is the best eh. If you become an expert, instead of you approaching people, people will come and approach you. Instead of you selling to people, people will come to you and then pre-sold na. They but will listen to you because people love to buy from expert. People love to listen from expert. And last but not the least, offer something that is for free. <laughs> Alam mo, hilig natin talaga sa libre. Basta pag libre, ang Pinoy nandyan, di ba? Parang naalala ko tuloy, di ba? May uh, isang immigrant na, ano? Isang immigrant na barbero sa isang uh, country, di ba? Eh, pasta pagka local ka sa kanila, he charges. Pero pag immigrant ka, immigrant ka, kanya galing ka sa ibang bansa, di ba? Eh, ang binibigay niya, yung first haircut mo for free. So, tinatanong niya, are you a local or immigrant? I'm an immigrant. Oh, your first haircut is for free. So, yung may ginupitan siya na Koreano, may ginupitan siya na isang Amerikano, at may ginupitan siya sa isang ano, uh, tinatawag na Filipino. Yung pagkatapos ng gupit, after one day, Bumalik yung Koreano ay may dalang kimchi. Uh-oh. Tapos yung ano naman, yung Amerikano, pagbalik may dalang kape, uh, Starbucks. Uh-oh. Yung Pilipino, pagbalik the following day, dala buong angkan. <laughs> Kasi libre. <laughs> Iba talaga tayo mga Pinoy. Mabuhay! <laughs> so again, if you offer something for free, ano mo, very attractive yan sa mga tao. So, right now, I hope that you have learned on how to create unlimited prospects. So, ito lang pakiusap ko. You don't have to implement everything. All you need to do is just master one or two things. I can assure you, if you practice this, hindi ka na maubusan. In the next session, I will also teach you how to make people... Okay, listen. How to make people beg you to present your business and products and services instead of you begging them. So, don't tune out! Hi there, I'm back. You know what? In the years of selling, one of the most frustrating thing probably for people, uh, people don't like to get into sales, is because they feel they're begging other people. Nakikiusap siya, ay, naku, ayaw kong ganun, di ba? Meron ng pinag-aralan, baka sabihin ng tao, you know what? You don't have to beg. You don't have to beg in sell. I personally don't beg people to buy from me. Because I've developed the art and technique of instead of me begging people, people will beg me to show my products, businesses, and services. Yan ang kailangan natin malaman. So, number six, ano, technique or characteristic of a master prospector. Master prospectors are what we call as master qualifiers. How many times have you pitched to a potential client or sent a what we call as a proposal only to get a... Uh, we'll think more about it. We'll get back to you. Sige, pag-isipan muna namin. <laughs> How many times have you been rejected by your prospects? Many times. Ay, nako. How many times have you get got hurt diba, by your prospect? Many times. Diba? How many times you feel like that you want to quit? Many times. Mau, question. Do you want to learn a system instead of our prospects rejecting us? Now, alam mo gagawin natin? We'll take revenge. We will reject them for a change. Panahon na tayo naman ang mag-reject sa kanila. Ha? 
Pwede ba yun? <laughs> okay, right now I'm gonna teach you how to qualify your prospect instead of them qualifying us. Uh -oh. So, but before we talk about even qualifying, what is qualifying? Qualifying is determining if you are meant for each other. Babalik na naman tayo sa dating. Oo. Uh -oh. Diba? Pag sa dating niya, diba? Ano yung like mo? Ano yung like ko? Ano yung dislike mo? Ano yung dislike? Dapat match kayo. Diba? Kinu-qualify mo. Diba? Kung hindi siya mahilig sa outing. Diba? Ikaw, mahilig ka out. Eh, hindi pa kayong match. Ang hilig niyo gumastos, ang gusto mo naman ay magtipid, ay hindi kayo match, di ba? Health buff ka, siya naman, walang pang, junkie siya, di ba? Kahit ano, kinakain niya, hindi kayo match. So, very important na mas maganda kung nagsasama yung dalawa, match talaga. Pareho kayo ng philosophy, pareho kayo ng values, pareho kayo ng paniniwala. Alam mo, the biggest mistake also you can make, no? Uh, also, uh, in sales, no, is working with leads that is not match to you. They are not really qualified. Alam mo, parati ko sinasabi ah. Pakinggan nyo lang to. Kalimutan nyo na lahat ng sinabi ko. Huwag nyo lang kalimutan to. The single most wasteful time is to waste your time with a wrong prospect or with the wrong prospect. <laughs> Tama? So, imagine mo ah. Ilang oras na kayo nag-uusap, di ba? Ang tagal mo niligawan pagkatapos yan ay hindi pala. Ay hindi pala kayo. Eh, buti nga sa sales eh. May sulian eh. Pero pag kayo kinasal, walang sulian. Kaya ang mga single dyan out there, pakinggan nyo ako. Why qualify? <laughs> Ganun din sa sales. Because number one, it will help you to save time. Come on, nobody wants to waste time. ba? Diba? That's number one. Number two, ano gagawin po natin? You meet less. Instead of meeting, ba? Diba? Paulit-ulit na lang yung ano, na alam mo naman, tatravel ka pa. ba? Diba? Magmi-meet pa kayo, meet up pa. Pagkatapos yan, sayang lang palang oras. And then number three, ang kaganda niya, you will be able to sell more. Uh, sell more. So, kasi alam mo, ang goal natin, no? especially sa pagbebenta, it's not only working hard. Working hard is very important. But you must learn how to work smart. Diba? Maganda na yan, work hard, work smart. So question right now, Chinky, is how can we know if they are really qualified? O ito na yung ano, ang dapat natin gawin. Ito lang po, babala, ha? Babala. Just because a person responded no, to your meeting or nag-set ka ng appointment or let's say, nag-email ka, nag-Facebook ka, it doesn't mean to say that he, that person is already qualified in what you have to offer. The only way to know if a person is really qualified if you ask the right questions. Kailangan matuto tayong magtanong, di ba? Kaya nga sinasabi ni ano, Tita Susan, di ba? Huwag kang mahiyang mag! Tanong. O, huwag natin dugtungan kahit hindi sila ang ano ang commercial. Nagko-commercial dito. <laughs> so, in other words, ako naman, ang ginagawa ko talaga, before I sell to someone, I, I offer something to someone, I, there's what we call as a qualimeter. I create what we call as a qualimeter. Like, for example, let's talk about first, yung interest level. Kailangan may level of interest. Hindi naman pwedeng bumili sa'yo na walang interest yan. Tama o mali? So, ang first question you need to ask is why? O, why? Bakit ba? Anong reason ba? Ba't mo ginagaw, binibili to? Like for example, 1 is the lowest, 10 is the highest. What is your level of interest? Kanyari, ako, I'm selling naman the idea of people, teaching people of how to save. What is your level of interest on how to save? Ah, sabi niya, 8 or 9. Ay, next question ko sa kanya, bago ko uh, tanggapin yan, di ba? Bakit mo gusto mag-save? Ano dahilan mo? Eh kasi lubog ako sa utang, ayaw ko na ganitong buo. Eh, oh, sige. So in other words, alam ko na interest level niya mataas. Number two, desire level. Uh, desire level, how badly do you want it? Urgent pa to or pwedeng ipagpaliban? Tatanungin ko sa kanya. Ay, uh, urgent na to. So urgent, qualified siya. Pag sila, ay, pwede to mga two years from now. Oh, two years na tayo mag-usap, di ba? And number three, yung urgency level, when? How important is this issue to you of, of the present time? Diba? Is it really urgent or can it wait? Pag sinabi niyo, urgent, let's do it. Diba? So, nakikita niyo, um, 1 to 10, urgency level, or oh, number 8, okay, high, high pa rin siya. Let's talk about right now, commitment level. So, syempre, gusto mo mag-ipon. Anong commitment level mo? How much time can you devote? Diba? And apply what is necessary for you to get started. Binara, I'm offering business opportunity. Ganon din. How much time? Kasi kailangan mo ng commitment. So, like for example, meron ako tinatawag na 50-50 ipon challenge. no 50-50 ipon challenge. Can you save 50 pesos in the next 50 days? O, yan ang commitment na hinihingi ko. 50 pesos for the next 50 days. Ang sinabi, ay, mahirap eh. Hindi ko kaya. Diba? Diba? Eh, eh wag na. 
ibig sabihin niyan eh di ba hindi pa pwede sa iyo di ba in terms of time how much time can you ano can you devote kaya mo bang mag-invest ganun din pera di ba humingi ako ng pera sa iyo 50 pesos in the next 50 days hindi para sa akin para sa iyo yan so kung ikong business opportunity naman can you invest let's say ang uh, ano offer mo 10,000 for you to start a business of 10,000 pesos kaya mo ba ilabas yan level 1 to 10 oh, how much are you willing to invest di ba sabi niya number 8 di ba time niya sabi niya number 8 din i'm going to give let's say sa business opportunity two times a week two days a week oh di ba mataas ang commitment level and last sacrifice What are you willing to sacrifice to give up to make this happen? Gusto mo talaga bang mag ano uh, mag save, di ba? O ano sa sakripisyo mo sa 50 pesos? Huwag ka muna magmeryenda ng once a day. Oo, di ba? Kung dalawang beses ka nagmeryenda, isang beses ka lang di magmeryenda. Ito yung tabi. Kaya mo ba i-sacrifice? Sabi. Yes. So in other words, alam ko yung kausap ko qualified. Ganun din sa negosyo. Kunya, nag offer ka ng bis Oh, are you willing to give up yung labas niyo muna sa mga friends mo? Wala muna kayong samyupsal. Wala mo na yung kain sa labas. Wala mo na kayong gimmick. Kasi, magbibuild ka ng business. Are you willing to sacrifice? Pag sinabi niyang yes, go. Pag sinabi niyang no, wag na. Kasi, nagigets niyo, ang kagandaan, listen to this. Bago mo pang ika nga, offeran yung kausap mo, presentan. ba? Diba? As a matter of fact, itong gagawin kong ito, bago pa ako mag-present, ba? Diba? Anong interest level mo, ano yung desire level mo, ano yung urgency level mo, ano yung commitment level mo. Ito pa lang, pag nalaman kong mababa na, alam mo, hindi ko na itutuloy yung presentation. Ay, I don't think this is for you. Wow! Nire-reject mo ko. Ay, imagine mo, tayo na nagre-reject ng client. ba? Diba? Pag sinabi niya, ay, I don't want to save. Kunyan, nagbebenta ka naman ng insurance. I don't care about my family. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I don't know where the money. Ay, huwag mo na presentan. Eh, sayang lang yan eh. Sasayang. Imagine mo, you're gonna save time. You're gonna save money. ba? Diba? You're gonna work less. Nako. Because you know how to qualify your prospect. Ulitin ko, in, this is one of the most important. Instead of you... Being rejected by your clients, we will reject right now the mga undesirable prospects or clients. So, right now, ito na. Ito na. So, I want you to do a workshop with me right now in this special session. I want you to get your file, your master prospector audience profiler re- ano, uh, special report. Okay? Alam mo, one of the keys to becoming successful in selling or oh, in selling career is to deeply understand your target market. And the more you know about your target market, the better you'll be able to relate and connect with them. So, ito yung gagawin po natin. Itong gagamitin po natin yung profile worksheet po natin. No? Itong, itong first part na ito, itong first part na ito sa workbook na ito, Uh, hindi po natin magagawa yan kasi kayo po ang gagawa ng research di ba? yung sino yung target market mo ano yung research mo hindi na po natin magagawa yan okay? like for example how old your prospect what is your prospect eh, kayo na nakakaalam yan eh. kayo na mag-fill up yan ha? so does your prospect own and rent a car syempre kung kayo, gusto mo laman capacity anong prospect primary language meron ba silang bahay na nire-rent or in own level of education attainment di ba ano yung mga tinatawag na prospects ano work status ano yung income level di ba so what are your prospects job income level di ba kasi the reason why you want to know your prospect para malaman mo kung qualified o hindi like for example kung nasa online naman uh, do they visit online gusto mo ba malaman how do they buying ano nila patterns nila Does your in- prospect engage in what we call as social media? Does your uh, prospect use mobile access to access social media? So in other words, itong first part, I will just leave it to you. But right now, itong second part na ito, I want to discuss it with you. ba? Diba? Yung first part kayo nagagawa, itong second part kayo nagagawa nito. So on, on this part, in order for you to be able to, be able to really uh, match, ba diba yung sinasabi ko, dating is just like matching eh. Kung anong gusto niya, dapat gusto mo. Kung anong ayaw niya, ayaw mo rin. ba? Diba? At the same time, compatible ba kayo? Compatibility pa rin eh. Alam mo, alam mo sa sales talaga, it's about compatibility. ba? Diba? Ako, I spouse the idea of savings and helping people to become wealthy. Kung ikaw, tatamad-tamad ka. At the same time, gastador ka. Eh, hindi. Eh, kung yan ang gusto mo, trip mo, eh, sinasabi niya, 
Uh, ako, kumikita ko ng pera para magpakasarap sa buhay. Hindi kita pipilitin, hindi tayo match. We don't share the same philosophy. Pero may mga iba naman, na-realize nila, ay, kailangan ko talaga mag-ipon, kailangan ko talagang magturo sa akin. Match kami. So, number one, as understand the pain points. Pain points of your client. ba diba? What are your um, prospect's main problems? Ano ba problem? Sulat mo. What frustrates your prospects about these problems? ba diba? That's number one. Sulat mo. And what of, what sort of solution has your ano prospect tried to solve this what problem? So like for example, ako, ano problema ng prospect ko? Ano mga problema ng prospect ko? Pera, utang, di ba? Walang savings. Ano frustration nila? Eh, may stress sila, financial stress, di ba? Parang nag-iisip pa sila, hindi nila alam saan nila kukunin. So, ano yung solution na nagawa nila? They try to do it on their own, pero hindi naman sila nakakasave. So, in other words, alam ko yung pain point. And then after that, let's move on to the next. Diba? Uh, Ash, why hasn't your prospect been able to solve the problem? Ano mga problema? Ba't di mo pa nasasolve? Sulat mo yan. Ano yung mga solution na ginawa na niya? Diba? Or ba't, ano, ba't sila nagkulang? And how can your prospects, how can you help your prospects right now to solve their what? Problems. So, ito, again, again, the three questions. Ano yung three questions to? Yung, why hasn't the prospect been able to solve their problem yet? Eh, kasi ka, baka mali nga ginagawa niya. Di ba? Ano yung solution na ginagawa niya? Baka kulang nga. And then, ikaw naman, ikaw na mag-offer ng tinatawag ng ano, solution. Di ba? Ano yung pwede mo i-offer? Like, for example, I offer financial education. Just like what I'm doing right now. Ang problema naman ng tao dito sa, sa program na ito is hindi sila nakakuha ng prospect, nagkukwit sila, hindi nila alam kung ano gagawin nila. So, ano ginagawa ko? I'm helping you. I'm showing you ideas, strategies in order for you to really become a good master prospector. And last but not the least is what? What are the products or services can you offer to help them with their problems? So, one way for me is what? I write books, I do seminars, I do live trainings, I, nagigets nyo, I, I have social media, I have what we call as TV, I have radio. Ito yung ginagawa ko in order for me to help them solve their what? Problems. So, I want you to write down everything, okay? Write down everything uh, that you have that comes into your mind. E- even if you don't feel no, uh, na necessary to. Basta sulat mo lang, isulat mo lang yung mga information. Alam mo, mangyayari niyan, it may become useful in the future. So, what I want you to do right now is, I want you to really pause this video, pause this video and write this exercise right now para ma-maximize po ang ating learning. This is one of the most important part. The more you know the pain points, the more you know your client, the more you know them, the easier that you'll be able to connect with them, the easier that you'll be able to what? Communicate with them, the easier that you can help them solve their what? Problem. As you can see, by this time, you get done with this profile. You're going to know more a lot of information about your ideal prospects. Alam mo, again, don't skip this part because this part can make or break your success in your selling business. Your entire business success hinges on understanding on your audience, knowing what they want. So set aside time to do this so that you can be successful in what you're doing. Okay, let's pause this video. I hope that you have learned and enjoyed in our session. Gabi, sulit na sulit talaga yung pagpunta nyo rito, yung pag-invest nyo dito. Especially, again, I hope that you can recommend this video. Recommend this learning video of how to become a master prospector to your downline, to real estate agents, insurance, at the same time, mga network marketers who are having a hard time. Instead of you training them, let me do the training for you para hindi ka na mahirapan. Let's go to number seven. Master prospector are master advertisers. Okay? They're what we call as master advertisers. Uh, like for example, ito lang para mas magets nyo po. Uh, ibig sabihin master advertiser, panoorin natin itong video na ito. Let's watch this video. This is Samsung's new Galaxy Fold. It looks like a regular phone like this, but you can open it up into a full tablet. 7.3 inch screen, about the size of an iPad mini. And the cool thing is you can use three applications at once by pinning them together. Where this thing really shines is for watching video. So being able to open a YouTube video, play it, but then also pinning other applications next to it. So here we're watching the video while also interacting on Facebook, 
you can put Chrome down here if you want while watching the video. So you can do multiple things at once. And that's really what the, the game changing thing is here, having a phone that opens up into a tablet in order to get that bigger screen there. And of course you're able to download all the same apps you can get on Android. So you see WhatsApp is already on here and optimized, uh, there's games as well. The big question here is, are people willing to pay $1,980 for it? This is the 4G model for the US, AT&T and T-Mobile. It has six cameras. You can see it has the cameras on the back, camera on the front, and then two here when you open, up, you open it up on the inside. For TikTok, I'm Mark Gurman, and to get all of your updates, follow TikTok on Twitter. So let me ask you this question. Uh, napanood natin tong video na ito about Samsung yung di ba yung para siyang notebook na na na-open. Did the advertisers know you? Did the advertiser know your why? Hindi. Di ba? Hindi alam kung bakit. Did the advertiser know your dreams, goals, di ba? Ambitions? No! Did the advertiser listen to your problem and to your drama of your life? No! Did... Was the advertiser a good listener? No! <laughs> As a matter of fact, wala. It's a one-way. Alam mong goal talaga, when it comes to mass advertising, our main task is not really to sell. Diba? I, the main task of advertising, especially in creating marketing materials, is this is to create the need and the what we call as the awareness. Creating the need and the awareness. Ang nangyayari dyan, as you watch, diba, they're pre-qualifying you. Diba? Mahilig ka ba sa gadget? Yes. Mahilig ka ba sa upgrade? Yes. Mahilig ka ba sa technology? Yes. Mahilig ka ba sa bago? Yes. Ikaw yun. Ikaw na. Ikaw na yung nahanap niya. So, ang ginagawa, instead of them going to you, they are allowing you to go to them. Diba? So the goal is, alam mo, you got to learn how to make yourself visible. In other words, create marketing awareness. If even you have the best product, listen to me, as a master prospector, even if you have the best product, best services, but if you're not good in making people aware of your product and services, you are not going to get any prospects. Hindi ka pwedeng maging secret, hindi ka pwedeng maging silent. Okay? So right now, let me ask you, how can you create awareness for your company products and what we call as your services? Anong gagawin mo? Diba? Social media is the best way for you to use, to create awareness. And then, social media is practically for free. It's very, very affordable. So, there are many distributors and salespeople who are trying to scare away prospect instead of attracting prospect. So, alam mo, ang gagawin po natin, ha? itong gagawin. Ang gagawin nyo po is in order for you to know how to use social media, I would highly recommend take a look again at this program called Online Negosyante. How to be an online negosyante. Paano ba kumita sa pamagitan ng gamit ng social media? How to create unlimited prospects. If you are not aware of this program, all you need to do is just go back to chinktv.com and search nyo lang po yung How to be an online negosyante. Let's go to Master Prospector number 8. Aha! Alam mo, ang dapat ang goal natin is to attract. Ikong attraction marketing. Ang goal natin is not to scare marketing. Hindi natin dapat takutin ang prospect. And pero maraming prospect, instead ng attract, natatakot na. <laughs> because they don't know how to do number eight. Master prospectors are master in creating the need. Very important, not only learn how to create the awareness, but you should also learn how to create the need. And let them ask you instead of you asking them. Diba? Parang ito lang ha. Uh, I've been using this, no? Yung parang for the longest time. Na pag may nami-meet up ako ng tao, I can create prospects, hot prospects in less than 60 seconds. Oh? Basta mag-meet lang kami. Pwede maging prospect yan. Meron tong tinatawag ng 3-foot rule. Basta pag gumalaw ka within 3 feet, akin ka. <laughs> Question right now, Chinky. How? How to create the need? Paano ba? Paano? Oo. Oh, oh. Number one is what we call as the concern approach. Oh, anong ba itong concern approach? One uh, way that I use is, I ask people lang, di ba? Again, I'm more interested in knowing them. Uh, ano ba yung concern mo? What is your greatest concern in life right now? Ano yung problema mo? So, they will start talking about their problems, di ba? Uh, and then, after you talk about, ano, ay, alam mo, greatest concern ko about health, eh. Ang greatest concern ko about my income. Ang greatest concern ko, family ko. So, my question to you is this. Pagkatao, yung health. Have you considered doing something about it? Nagawa na ba naman ang solusyon yan? Uh, actually, hindi pa nga eh. Uh, may problema kasi ako sa pera eh. Oh, may problema ka. Oh, ano yung solusyon na ginawa mo? So, immediately, when I ask them, kunyari, if I'm selling a financial plan, oh, 
uh, concern mo pala pera, may ginawa ka na ba? Eh, actually, wala. Eh, bakit? Wala pa. Kasi hindi ko alam. Question. Babalik ko sa kanya. Gusto mo bang masolusyonan ang problema mo? Sabi niya, yes. Pag sinabi niya, oh, yes. Oh, so, may prospect ka na. Di ba nagigets nyo? Oh, kasi concern ko about health of my family. Eh. Ayaw ko talagang ano sila, eh, mag- magkasakit. Uh, may ginagawa ka naman change of lifestyle. Actually, hindi ko rin alam. Gusto mo bang tulungan kita? Paano ma-change ang lifestyle mo? Paano? Oh, ang gagawin mo, huwag ka magpapreset. Ang goal mo is to get only the number and then the, the, ano, to set an appointment. Nagigets nyo? Number one is what we call as the concern approach. So, imagine mo, in less than 60 seconds, nakakreate ka na ng panibagong prospects. So, imagine mo, how many people do you encounter per day and then you can use the concern approach. The second approach that I highly recommend and I personally use, hmm, Let me spill the beans. It's what you call, what are you doing approach? Mm-mm. Ano nang ginagawa? Anong sa'yo? <laughs> ano sa akin? <laughs> Hindi, sa ano yan? Galing lang kasi Korea. Eh. Oo. Anong sa'yo? So, what are you doing? Siyempre, tatanungin niya, oh, kamusta ka na? Anong ginagawa mo? Diba tatanungin mo sa friend mo? Ay, alam mo, engineer na ako ngayon eh. Ganito. Ay, tapos, tatanungin sa'yo yung pabalik. Diba? How about you? Ah? May handa na ako sagot. Ito yung sagot ko. Standard answer ko. I teach people how to become wealthy and debt-free. Mm-hmm. Tinuturuan ko yung mga taong ika nga maging mayaman at makawala sa utang. So, after that na sinabi ko, I turn my statement into a what? Question. I turn my statement into a question. Tatalo ko na sa kanya pabalik. Ikaw. Ikaw, friend. Are you interested to become wealthy and debt-free? Ikaw, interesado ko bang yumaman o makawala sa utang? Oo. Di ba? Interesado ako. Oh, immediately, may prospect na ulit. Nagigets mo? Again, ang goal is to get the number and set an appointment. Nag-2%. So, nagigets nyo? So, you can also use this. So, you can create your own line. Diba? My line is, I teach people how to become wealthy and debt-free. Gusto mo bang yumaman at gusto mo bang makawala sa utang? So, I teach people or probably I show people how to lose weight in 60 days. di ba? Oh, gusto mo bang mag-lose ng weight in the next 60 days? Oh, paano yan? Oh, I share people the idea of become fi- uh, of having financial peace. Kung nagbebenta ka ng insurance, do you want to have financial peace for your family? Paano ba yan? Kuha ka ng appointment, di ba? Or let's say, I show people on how they can be, ano, they can have lighter and fairer skin, di ba, in the next 15 days. Gusto mo bang pumuti, di ba? Gumanda ang skin mo in the next 15 days. Oh, paano yan? Oh, so, nagigets nyo, in less than one minute, come on, my friends! <laughs> Grabe. So, notice there are two things that are happening here. Number one, anong ginagawa? You are creating an instant prospect. Number two, nako, you make the prospect as you instead of you asking the prospect. Galing, di ba? Try using this ano, two approaches lang. Concern approach and what we call as uh, what are you doing approach. Ay, panalo na ito. Eh, And watch your prospect come on a daily basis. Hindi ka talaga mahubusan ng prospect. Hindi ka nila tatantanan. Di ba yan ang gusto mong mangyayari? Di ba? 